Some of those born in a home for unmarried mothers in the Republic say they're being ruled out of compensation for the abuse they suffered because they are Protestant. A short film about what went on at Bethany Home is to be shown at the Cork International Film Festival this week. Our Dublin correspondent Shane Harrison reports now on some of the stories. This building now has nothing to do with the Protestant churches, but it was once known as Bethany Home. A place for unmarried Protestant mothers, described at the time as fallen women, and for their newly born children who were to be adopted. Among the children was 71-year-old Derek Leinster, whose story features in a short film to be shown in Cork. Now living in England, he describes Bethany as a place of hell. There's images in my head of cuts and darting, things darting around them. But now I know that that was children screaming to have the nappies changed, screaming to have some sort of care. Those sort of things that are there and you can't explain them, but you've been affected by it. Patrick Anderson McCoy also spent his early days at Bethany. Recently recovered medical notes suggest that as a child he was malnourished. He was adopted by a family from near Belfast when he was three and they were in their 50s. As an adult he twice made contact with his birth mother who had since married and had other children but she didn't want to know. That caused a deep depression that lasted two years and required counselling. That was very, very painful to the point where I had to go back and dig out from within all the heartache and all the pain that I'd covered up and hidden away and didn't come to terms with about who I was and why I was here and who did this and who did that. I was angry. I was angry with my birth mother. I was angry with my adopted parents in Northern Ireland for what they'd done to me head-wise. They meant well, but they didn't know how to look after a five-year-old, three-year-old child at the time. Patrick Anderson McCoy and Derek Leinster both survived, but more than 220 children died in Bethany between 1922 and 1949. That's one death every six weeks. This lecturer in journalism found the unmarked graves of 219 Bethany home children at Mount Jerome Cemetery in South Dublin. He says none of the children were hospitalised. There are 219 nameless, faithless, unwanted, so-called illegitimate children in this graveyard. They need to become wanted and they need to become recognised by the state in which they lived and also by the churches that they were members of. They suffered abuse, they suffered neglect. Uh, this was avoidable at the time and this needs to be recognised now. Those who survive Bethany say they feel religiously discriminated against by the Irish government in terms of compensation. But the Irish government denies this, saying Bethany, as a home for mothers and children, does not fall within the scope of its redress board that compensates other child victims. Shane Harrison, BBC Newsline, County Leitrim.